Hello, I'm Mr. Ripper. Um, I'm a teacher here at Wilmot Union High School. I teach biology, uh, honors biology and AP biology. Today, uh, some of my students are gonna be doing creature features of all the animals that I have in my classroom and talk a little about the diversity of animals, what they eat, and where you might find these creatures. So, enjoy. This here is Blueberry, the Australian blue tongue skinks. Some people mistake him for a snake due to his arrow-shaped head and cool patterns. This is Izzy, an African side neck turtle. She's a river turtle, lives in Madagascar and parts of Africa. Uh, she's a carnivore and she can live up to 50 years. And she's absolutely adorable, I love her. And why are they called side neck turtles? Because their neck is sideways in their shell. But is it that way when they get in the water? No, when they start swimming, then their neck will come out and they'll just start swimming around like a normal turtle. This is Spotty. He is a leopard gecko, usually found in the deserts of India. With his unique pattern, he can easily hide from predators. Along with his enormous fat tail, he can store energy and his fat. But if a predator pulls hard enough, his tail will come off just so he can easily flee away. He is nocturnal and usually eats bugs that he finds around himself. This little guy here is a tiger salamander. Very common to find around these parts during springtime because that is their mating season. You can usually find him by a forest or under logs or by rocks. He also likes to eat small insects and occasionally even a small mouse. These are Ricky and Bobby, hissing cockroaches from Madagascar. They'll eat anything and live up to five years in captivity. And they are sold mainly to feed bearded dragons, among other creatures. This, this is, is Wilmot's creature feature. Hope you all enjoyed. Stay tuned for more episodes coming soon.